The giant oarfish is an instant discussion starter when it washes up on the beach. But is it a sea monster? Should we be afraid? Let's discuss. For starters, it all depends on your definition of a sea monster. According to 13th century theologian Thomas of Contemporary, rarity and size were the determining factors. Indeed, the giant oarfish is both those things. They've been known to grow up to 36 feet or 11 meters and weigh 600 pounds or 272 kilograms. We even have unconfirmed reports of 56 foot or 17 meter specimens as well. Rarely encountered, it's no wonder that a site like this instantly makes us think of this. As usual, factor in a little beach rot and a giant oarfish looks all the more fearsome. But fear not, the giant oarfish has zero interest in gobbling down sailors or plucking speedo-clad sunbathers off the beach. In fact, they don't even have any teeth. Their diet mainly consists of tiny plankton, and their most notable survival adaptation seems to be that evolution has stockpiled their vital organs towards the head, meaning that injuries to their long, gleaming tails are less likely to inflict fatal wounds. These giants make their home in the deep. We're talking between 600 and 3,000 feet, or 100 and 83 and 914 meters. They spend much of their time in twilight waters, often in a vertical position to maintain a slim profile and allow for easy ascent or descent. And one more thing, there's a stubborn rumor out there that giant oarfish beach themselves just before earthquakes. Now sure, there are several anecdotal incidents where the portent proved true, but is there any science behind it? Some scientists theorize that a deep sea release of carbon monoxide gas or hydrogen peroxide just before an earthquake might cause such a mass fishy exodus from the deep. But of course, this would affect numerous species, not just the giant oarfish. Neither theory has been studied or proven, so it's best to ascribe any pre-quake beachings to mere coincidence. So how would you react if you saw a giant oarfish floundering in the surf? And do you think they could actually predict an earthquake? Let us know in the comments below, and to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.